Uh, Tom Hiddleston, university. Have you have you had any bad reviews? No. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Conversation. Well, to make a man feel good, Graham. Um, no, I was in a play. I'd never ever been professionally reviewed. And uh, in the paper the next day was a British theatre critic who said I was completely out of place, too young, too rada, and projecting about as much masculinity as Graham Norton. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, fabulous as Loki. Absolutely Thank you. brilliant. But yes. apparently you originally, originally, Audition. And no offence is meant by my incredulity here. That's right. But you originally auditioned for Thor. <laughs> yep. <laughs> in the and, end, um... Ken, why, why did you go with this, then, in the end? <laughs> <laughs> was was uh, it the longer very... hair? Was it...? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was the hair. I think it was really the... That's my brother from another mother. <laughs> Tom Hiddleston, you have fan art, but such specific fan art. This is a lot, yeah. And uh, does it all come from this one scene? It, was it the first Thor movie with the spear? Oh, right, right. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, there's, a, there's a scene in a first Thor film where my, I'm trying to attack Thor, Chris Hemsworth as Thor, with a spear. And I jump in the air and he, do he dodges out the way and I bring the spear down and it wedges itself into the floor and then I use the use it to spin myself around and kick him in the chest <clears throat> which has been interpreted by fans as um, a demonstration of my hidden talent at pole dancing. Pole dancer! <laughs> Nice. Yeah, like, yeah. No, um, and seriously, there's so much of this. This is just mm. one example of Loki really going for it on the pole. Oh, uh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> is that Japanese, by And that's chance? what you wear in the movie. That look mad. Yeah, that... <laughs> and, uh, in, in the passage to India, there's an there's a expedition to this cultural landmark called the Marabar Caves by elephant. Um, I'm delighted to reveal that I played the front right leg of the elephant that Eddie was wearing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so and it was four of you to make the elephant. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and he was sitting on you. He's he's sitting. On, we're holding a table <laughs> oh, um, yeah. with a cushion on top of it, and also a tablecloth to cover our faces, because <laughs> we, our bodies are the elephant. Um, yeah. So that's um, that sounds the... awful. <laughs> <laughs> and Bob, you. You know, as Tom was saying, you know, I think a lot of young actors, they, you know, they revere you, so they, they look to you. But the other thing you inspire is impressions, people doing impressions. Now, when people do impressions of you, is it like sort of nails on a chalkboard or do you kind of enjoy it? No, I, I kind of enjoy it, especially if they do it well. <laughs> uh, so, no, I, I, it's, it's great. It's, it's, I love it. I only ask! <laughs> <laughs> no, because, because uh, any Hiddlestoners watching will know, uh, Tom Hiddleston does impressions. You do impressions of lots of people. So who is in your canon? <laughs> it's an it's a expression of admiration, just to be clear. Um, yeah. So I do, I do uh, <laughs> impressions of people that I, I admire and I sort of listen to them. I, I, the first time I did an impression um, that anyone was aware of, I was just telling a story about Midnight in Paris, the Woody Allen film I was in and how I'd never read the whole script, and, and I thought it was set in the 20s. And um, I turned up and I bumped into Owen Wilson, who didn't look like he was in the 20s at all. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and I said to him, I said, so wait, hang on, who are you playing? Because I'm playing F. Scott Fitzgerald, and I know Corey Stoll's playing Ernest Hemingway, and we're all playing figures of history. And he went, oh, no, 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 no. I, I, I'm from now. I go back in time. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's, there's a time machine. And, uh, <laughs> It's kind of cool and it's kind of woody and you just kind of it's kind of awesome. Uh, <laughs> Very good. But, but, uh, I've done. I've done. I mean, I've done. I've been made to do impressions of my fellow Avengers. Um, uh, I think everyone does an impression of Christopher Walken because he's <laughs> just he's such an easy kind of. <laughs> you know, I feel like what this show needs is more cowbell. <laughs> uh, it depends on what you like me to say. <laughs> Basically, there's no punctuation. <laughs> anything that comes out of my mouth. <laughs> uh, I like that. I know whole pages of heat. You surprise me. <laughs> 
So I, there's this there's a scene in the middle of the film which you'll be familiar with. You were there. <laughs> the one person you don't need to explain it to. <laughs> so look, there's, there's a, there's a he, you're, he remembers. You're very good in this. He bit. remembers. <laughs> there's a scene in the, in the middle of the film which is because uh, because uh, Al Pacino and Robert De Niro. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about this. Don't worry. They're, they're, they're separated like a great thriller. They're separated from for the entire film, and they meet twice: once at the end and once in the middle. And it takes place at a restaurant in LA. It's a great scene. It's one of the great pieces of screen acting you can hope to watch. There it is. It's, there's a picture of it. It's like a it's a mutual recognition of each other. Anyway, so there's a bit where they have like they sit and have coffee and have tea and talk about stuff. I'm going on, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so Al Pacino at one point, Al, Al Pacino says this. He goes, uh So <laughs> <laughs> we're sitting here like a couple of regular fellas. I mean uh, you do what you do, I do what I gotta do. If I'm there <laughs> and I gotta put you away, <laughs> I won't like it. But if it's between you and some poor bastard whose wife you're gonna turn into a widow, brother, you are going down. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, and then, and so then, and then it cut, and then Michael Mann cuts back to the esteemed gentleman at the end of the sofa. <laughs> What if you do got me boxed in? <laughs> I'm not gonna put you down. <laughs> We've been face to face. Yeah. But I will not hesitate. Not for a second. That's my... Hey. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Is that where the Hiddlestoners came from, from Loki? I, 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 that's a whole other world I don't know about. <laughs> you um, know all about the Hiddlestoners. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're very sweet, mostly benign. Um, <laughs> and, um, yeah, there's, there, there's a few of them. Um, and then the Hiddlestoners get Hiddle boners. <laughs> <laughs> Be... This all comes from him, not me. Oh. I'm not making this. I'm not making this. This is him. I don't know. I, I've never. That's something I've not. I haven't put out. I haven't put that out into. <laughs> <laughs> if you'll pardon the expression, <laughs> I haven't extended that into the. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's. I, it's a. Uh, they're, they're. They're generally. Um, you know. They're generally. <laughs> I find myself lost for words. With, okay. Uh, okay. The, but no, no, but they're very they're sweet and benign and they and they're fans and and um and uh yeah. I read unusually as an actor, you you negotiated, you lobbied for extra nudity. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm trying to sell the film, it's Tom. <laughs> Gothic romance, how are you? But, uh, hello. <laughs> uh, no, they, they, well, you know, Gothic romance is <laughs> it's about sexuality. It's about it has to be sexy. And uh, there is a, a love scene in the film. <laughs> then Guillermo, Guillermo is like, dude, <laughs> it's time to get naked, man. You have to show the world your buns. <laughs> uh, and uh, it was, I, I was happy to, to do it. And it, we discussed it often in these situations. Um, uh, the, the woman is more naked than the man and we thought we would uh, just redress the balance. No. Can you go to as Robert De Niro? With <laughs> 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 uh, all of your talents. Uh, let me check. <laughs> no. no. Um, can you give us a little, a give us a little yodel? So it goes a little something like this. Um, oh, God, here we go. Um, <laughs> she's a low hong, go hong, and I have. I'm a low horn, some blue. Low <laughs> so, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. <laughs> um, so, so you, so you, you've never been on the show. Um, <laughs> Is that okay? Is that okay? Yeah. I, I, I feel your pain, Bob. 